Now that the argument is largely complete, we can see more clearly why it doesn't fall prey to the God of the Gaps fallacy. Remember, God of the Gaps reasoning is a line of thinking that is employed to plug a hole in our current understanding of the universe by saying, God did it. There are three characteristic problems of God of the Gaps reasoning. Firstly, since in truth there is no direct inference to God, but only a lack of knowledge, this type of fallacious argument is merely an argument from ignorance. When a reasonable person is ignorant and has a gap in their knowledge, they simply admit that they do not know. They wisely submit that when they gain more knowledge, maybe they'll be able to pursue a deeper understanding of the phenomenon at hand. Secondly, a particular gap within a scientific explanation is likely due to our insufficient knowledge and is no indication of the failure of science or of the hand of God. Positing divine intervention for each gap in our knowledge is a bad methodology and hinders the advancement of science. It's far more reasonable to say that the overall theory is sound and that we're only lacking knowledge of certain details, the gaps. And thirdly, any theory of the gaps posits something, whether it's God, luck, or anything else, as a solution to every gap in knowledge. Any answer that can employ to explain anything at all, in truth, explains nothing at all. Let's now examine the argument from fine-tuning and see why it doesn't have any of these three problems. First of all, as we've discussed before, the inference of intelligence from fine-tuning of the constants is not an argument from ignorance. As we explained in prior episodes, scientific knowledge went through two distinct stages regarding the values of the constants. The first stage was prior to the discovery of fine-tuning, when the constants presented the mystery of how these seemingly arbitrary constants could possibly be explained. If someone had tried to solve this mystery at this stage by saying, God determined the number to be 137.03597, and we no longer need another explanation for it, this would have been God of the Gap's reasoning. The wise approach at that point was to admit that we had no knowledge about the cause of the constants and to continue searching for further insight. Despite the initial ignorance about the cause for the values of the constants, patience paid off and scientists attained more understanding about these numbers. In the second stage of their understanding of the constants, scientists began to gain knowledge about the numbers. They discovered that the constants were not arbitrary, but that their fine-tuned values were required for the universe to be ordered, complex, and structured. The knowledge that the values of the constants were fine-tuned points directly towards an intelligent cause, which specifically selected those values for the purpose of bringing about our complex universe. This teleological explanation for the constants only became possible once science had advanced the point of understanding the fundamental laws of physics and the critical role that these specific quantities played in the laws. Fine-tuning is an argument from knowledge, not from ignorance. Secondly, the problem of explaining the constants is not a problem of a gap, but a problem with the very foundations of physics. It deals with the form of the fundamental laws of nature themselves, not with the detailed phenomenon explained by those laws, for instance, why is the sky blue? A lack of understanding regarding the foundations of a subject is totally different than a mere gap within the details of a subject whose foundations are well understood. While a gap in details is likely to be filled upon gaining more knowledge, a problem of the foundation often demands a new type of explanation. And thirdly, the theory of an intelligent cause does not explain any possible universe we could have possibly have observed. Without the discovery of fine-tuning, it would have been natural to assume that our universe, or some close variation of it, could have existed with a wide range of values for the constants. Had this been the case, there would have been no indication of an intelligent cause for the values of the constants, and to posit a teleological explanation would have been ungrounded and entirely speculative. However, with the discovery of fine-tuning, a teleological explanation naturally emerged. An intelligent cause is only a valid inference because we have first observed an ordered, fine-tuned, and intelligible universe. Were the universe to have been nonsensical chaos, then an intelligent cause would have been a very poor explanation for it. An intelligent agent does not explain every possible universe we possibly could have observed. It only explains a fine-tuned and ordered universe, not a disordered one with no fine-tuning.